Hi Leo, this is a general love reading for June 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs and it is general so it's not going to resonate for all of you but you can check out one of your other signs or you can book a personal reading. Also keep in mind that the roles can be reversed and let's see what is going on with Leo first half of June, what are the overall energies? Ooh, okay, we have Dark Night of the Soul and we have Communication. All right, okay, so this could be for you or it could be for um, someone else that you are dealing with here. Someone's going through a Dark Night of the Soul. <laughs> um, a very difficult and challenging time within themselves, I feel. Um, and this might be related to a specific conversation or to some communication that may happen between the two of you or that has happened. So let's get into the tarot and see what this is about. All right. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, so for the situation, we have the Ace of Pentacles crossed by the Page of Swords. All right, yeah, so there's that communication. I feel like there is somebody who is really wanting to open a door here, wanting to open a door to a new potential in this connection, but there is some kind of an issue or a difficulty when it comes to to communicating. Recent past we have the Page of Cups and near future we have the Knight of Cups. All right, so there are definitely a lot of feelings and I do feel like feelings have been expressed here recently so there may have been some um, kind of a communication that took place but for some reason it's like now now this communication is kind of um, being blocked. With the Knight of Cups, though, being in the near future, I do see this coming back in pretty soon. So let's see for your energy. We have the Four of Pentacles for them, the Five of Cups. More about you, the Two of Wands. For them, the Queen of Swords. Potential outcome, the Three of Pentacles. And a message for you here is the Queen of Pentacles. All right, so... It almost comes across as you actually holding back a little bit. It's like you're almost like you're afraid to open up or you're afraid to give more of yourself to this situation. So maybe you are, maybe you aren't, but I feel like you you are at least trying to hold hold back. Um Possibly even just to to protect yourself because I, I do see you here also with the two of wands being a little bit um, passive As in just kind of waiting to see how this will unfold waiting to see what is going to happen not really taking much Action kind of there. There might be certain things you want to say there might be certain things that you're very um, Let's say curious about discovering, but it's like you're holding you're holding back on this, kind of like saving it for a later time is the way it's coming through. And it's almost like, you know, you, you don't, it, this isn't easy for you either. It's, it's kind of like holding a certain, like, like a power in reserve, like waiting to use it, um, waiting to fully let yourself free when it comes to expressing yourself. Um, for the other person, the Five of Cups and the Queen of Swords, there's a lot of grief that this person is going through. And actually, it feels like it's <clears throat> it's the other person who might be going through this dark night of the soul and not exactly you. And it could be because of this communication that just seems to be a little bit um, jumbled at the moment or blocked in some way. So we'll see more when we clarify. Um, I do see some kind of a working together 
for the potential outcome here for the first half of June. And the message for you with this Queen of Pentacles is definitely all about, you know, finding your own sense of self-worth, taking care of yourself and nurturing yourself. So let's clarify. So let's see the Ace of Pentacles with the Page of Swords. All right, we have the Knight of Swords, the Seven of Wands, and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, so there's a lot of there's a lot of holding back here. It, it's it's to protect one's own self, okay? Whether this is you or whether this is the other person. I, it might even be the both of you. I definitely feel this for you, but I'm also getting that this might be um, the person that you're dealing with as well. Because there is, there's some kind of fear here. Fear of what might come out of this if we are to really open up and really get real in this conversation but again there's this huge huge drive like there's there's things that are bubbling up there's a lot of movement going on but i feel like this movement is actually just going on within each of you and it's not being it's not being expressed outwardly on both ends is how it's coming through a lot of defensiveness a lot of wanting to protect your own self and for them I feel like it is it is the same thing although you might be fearful for different reasons and fearful of different things so let me see your energy here let's see the four of pentacles justice the star and the six of wands you're holding back because you feel like it's the right thing to do it's almost like you feel like this is what you're being guided to do at the same time like Again, it comes through as you really wanting this to be successful. Like you really want things to happen in the right way. You really want for things to actually work out. And this is, I feel, a very, very deep and strong desire that you have within you. But you're trying to hold some kind of a balance within yourself. And that's why you're holding back so much. But at the same time, you're also trying to keep a balance within the connection. And it's it's almost like you feel like if you were to just, you know, let loose and, you know, just really um, behave or express yourself in the way that you would want it, in the way that you feel, that there might be some kind of balance that is lost. And I don't know, I mean, that, that may or may not be true. I'm just getting that this is your, your energy at the moment and I actually feel like because I'm always for um, being honest being genuine being authentic like there's nothing wrong with expressing your truth but I feel like this situation is a little bit more complicated and that there actually is some truth to you feeling this way and to you kind of holding back at the moment um, so you would know, obviously, you know, listen to your own intuition. That's just what I'm getting here. And I'm not saying for you not to speak your truth. I'm, I would never say that. But it just feels like, you know, there's, you're trying to find some balance within yourself. Because maybe you know that if you were to express yourself right now, maybe it's not the best time. Maybe you haven't worked through certain things. Maybe it's not the best time for the other person. Especially if someone is going through a dark night of the soul. It might just not be the right time. And sometimes, you know, having some self some sort of a self-discipline can actually be beneficial and there are ways to do that without it being deceptive, without it meaning that, oh, I'm not expressing my truth, therefore I'm being deceptive. No, you know, sometimes it's just a matter of timing and maybe thinking things through and following your intuition. So, and I feel like that's what you're doing. Let's see the two of wands.
Yeah, the Two of Swords and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, so see, there's this, it's like you're holding back, not not really sure. It's like there is a little bit of confusion here on your end as to whether you should express your truth or how much action you should take or how much truth you should express at the moment. And again, I see you holding back. Let's see what's going on with them. Let me clarify the Five of Cups. So we got quite a bit here for them. We have the Seven of Swords, the Ten of Swords, <clears throat> the Nine of Cups, and the Ace of Cups. So there's definitely a lot of love here um, from this person. There's a lot of emotions. I feel like this is something that they really want with you with that Nine of Cups. They they But they're almost seeing it as a fantasy, almost seeing it like you know, is this even something that is possible? And even if it is in their own hands as to whether, you know, this works out or not, to them it still feels like something, something just is so out of reach for some reason. Um, not only that, they're, they're going through a lot of grief and I'm almost beginning to wonder if if maybe some of you have initiated um, an ending or, you know, maybe there was communication about an ending or there's just this energy of a possible ending um, because this person is going through a lot of grief in relation to an ending here, to a possible ending and almost to the point where they may even feel like you turned their back on them and maybe you had good reason to do so. I don't know. But... I definitely see this person undergoing a lot of grief and feeling like they have a loss and that could be why they're seeing this as being unattainable almost. Let me see that Queen of Swords because <clears throat> it could be a couple of different things. Why is the Queen of Swords here for this person? The Nine of Swords, the Hermit, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so this person may appear cold. Okay, that's what this Queen of Swords is about. Um, it, I don't know what it is that has happened. Like I said, you know, you're holding back, and it could be that they were holding back to begin with. I don't know, because I do see some fear and like a blocking out of, of communication on both on both sides here. So this person is feeling a lot of pain here, feeling a lot of grief, a lot of loss. It's causing them to feel a lot of anxiety and this is why they're appearing cold. They're actually going within and doing a lot of thinking here. And whatever it is that they are doing, while seeming to be so detached, is actually them moving in the right direction here with the Knight of Pentacles. It might feel like it's taking forever. It might seem to you like there's no movement because the Knight of Pentacles does move a little bit slowly, um, but, but it definitely moves in a stable, at a stable pace and towards a direction that is in alignment with themselves. And I especially get that also with the Hermit. Um, but there's still a lot of stress and anxiety attached to that, but it could even be the driving force which is causing them to move in the in the in the right direction and sometimes that is that's just how it goes you know sometimes it's it's the pain that actually pushes us to get on the right on the right path <clears throat> so let's see the knight of cups in the near future well that card went flying Right, the Three of Wands, and give me one sec. And the Flying card is the King of Cups. So there is, okay, here's the thing. There is this movement towards love, okay? There is a movement towards having a communication, opening up emotionally, but at the same time, there's also, um, 
I feel like it's coming in with like a little bit, either a little bit of a delay or it's going to be like, it's it's like a prolonged kind of a feeling like it's going to feel like it's this conversation or there's like these small signs of this openness either from your end or from the other person's end but it's like it's going to be very very gradual like it's kind of going to take time and it's just going to feel like it's like like the love is just it has to be like squeezed out to come through in this communication, either on your end, their end, or the both of you. And I feel like, again, like it's because of this defensiveness and and the fear that's associated with that. It's like a fear of really um, allowing yourself to be vulnerable. And like I said, you know, follow your intuition on that because I feel like your intuition is guiding you in the right direction here. Let's see the Three of Pentacles. Queen of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles is <laughs> showing up again. All right, so. All right, Leo. <clears throat> you know, it still feels like there's this sense of holding back. Uh, it still feels like there's this sense of, you know, um, Not wanting to give your all, not a hundred percent, not wanting to be, you know, all that, all that vulnerable. However, at the same time, I do see you also really standing strong in your element here and being open to, you know, some kind of a compromise, some kind of a collaboration. And the way it comes through is more like, you know what, like, you know, if we can both agree to be open and honest and express how we feel, you know, then great, we can make this work, but it's going to require teamwork. It's going to require from the both of us to do that. So that could be something, you know, to keep in mind here. Um, if there is this, this conversation that comes up. So let me see the queen of pentacles. Or the message for you. All right, we have the Two of Cups and the Five of Cups. So yeah, here's that Five of Cups, which is um, in your person's energy showing up again, and the Two of Cups. There's definitely, definitely love here. And so what I'm getting here is that, yeah, this person, you know, is definitely feeling these emotions for you. Okay, this is something that you, that you probably already know, but you may have been doubting, I don't know. This, this pain, this sense of loss can be what is needed in order to, for there to be this trigger, for this conversation to happen and for certain things to come up to the surface in order to be processed, in order for you to work on yourself, in order for this person to work on themselves. And that's when love is possible. When this sense of loss, which is that dark night of the soul, I feel like that dark night of the soul is clearly this loss that this person is feeling, this grief. It's like that needs to be processed to find why. Why did this even get to this point to begin with? Why are things happening in the way that they are? Like, what does that go back to? And then once that is resolved and once there can be this agreement for, for a compromise or for this teamwork, then, you know, the door opens up to love, pretty much. All right, Leo, so. And like I said, I do see that happening. I do see you still being a little bit cautious, but I, I, do, I do see that happening. So let's get your final oracle message, if this resonated. All right. And we have, don't let pride get in your way. The full moon in Leo. So yeah, 
take that as it makes sense for you. Um, and I thank you so much for watching Leo and much love.